Hello everyone, welcome to the Bookflick YouTube channel. Now in this video, we are going to discuss the top down parser. Okay, so in our previous video, we have discussed the parser types, different types of parser, top down parser, bottom up parser and the categories of there also. But in this video, we are discussing the top down parser. So let us move on to its function. So basically the function is that it generates the parse tree for the given input string with the help of the grammar productions and by expanding the non-terminals what does it mean to say that let us suppose one example okay so let us suppose one tree since we are going to create a tree that is nothing but a parse tree so the parse tree must be understood by using a tree example so here we have the tree so our tree always starts growing from its root node okay and ends over its leaves okay here is the leaves of the tree and it gets ended into its leaf okay have you ever seen a tree growing after the leaf node no you cannot watch because leaf node is the terminal node of the tree and root node is the starting node so the tree always grows from root and it starts growing up till the leaf node and in between the root node and leaf node whatever is there that is stem or branches of the tree is nothing but the non-terminals non-terminals or you can say variable so this is how the concept of tree is evaluated by using a parser so now let us take one example so here it is written that it generates the parse tree suppose this is the parse tree okay for the given input string you are given a input string suppose a b a b okay so it is the input string that you are given in order to generate the parse tree the parse tree must have this syntax at last position okay so uh, so how can you generate this syntax you have to generate this syntax by using the grammar productions means the production rules that you will be given in your questions of your examinations by expanding the non terminals non terminals are nothing but the stems so if you want to reach the leaf node you have to expand the branches of the tree then only you can reach the ultimate final leaves so in this way we are going to do the top down parser so let us make the two points first point is that it starts from the start symbol that is the root so i have already told you in this video that the star the a tree starts growing from its root node this is the node and this is the tree's stems and this is starting growing from its root here is the root so it's written that it is starts from the start symbol start symbol is nothing but the symbol which is written or sim written or uh, symbolically represented as s it might be capital e as well so in your production grammar in your rules of production whatever will be the first letter that is a non terminal it will be treated as start symbol and it is also in concept of the tree can be treated as the root node so it is the root node from which the tree will grow okay now and it ends on the terminals terminals are nothing but the leaves here we are drawing our leaves so that you can understand here are the leaves that it gets ended okay this is the leaf of the tree and it is starting growing and up till here it ends up so it ends on the terminals terminals are nothing but the leaf node of the tree and it uses lmd left most derivation means it will start growing from left to to right it will start deriving from left to right so let us say, take one example in order to understand the top down parser so here we have the first example that is s derives small a capital a capital b small e now s is nothing but the root node or the start node and small a small e small b small c small d these are nothing but the terminals which cannot be further derived but capital a capital b here we can derive it into this a b c or b 
or being. So you can say that these are nothing but the rules of grammar, production rules that are given to you for the examples. Okay. Now input string is given to you is as A, B, B, C, D, E. So you have to generate this input string from this production rule of grammar. So you have to use the top down parser. So how the top down parser will generate the tree we will look and look into it. So let us move on to it. Now let us move on to the solution. So first of all we are starting with our start symbol this is nothing but the root node and next we are expanding in, into, into a capital A capital B small e and further on we are deriving capital A into capital A B C and this capital B is deriving in being derived into D. So it is D nothing but B okay so let me correct it by writing it over here so it is nothing but D okay. Uh, by mistake it was written there so it will be corrected in the future okay no worry about that so it is nothing but d and at last the capital a is being derived into b so how uh, what uh, the string we have gotten by expanding this tree by creating this tree so we have to yield the past tree we have to yield the past tree so let us yield the past tree so start from the starting node we have reached a small a so we must write it here is small a we have gotten now we are getting again 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 small b so if we have gotten b now again we have gotten b so we have again written b now c so we have written here c now d here it is nothing but d okay it is by mistake printed here b but it is d so here we should write d and at last e we are getting e so at last we are getting the same syntax given to us in order to generate the top down parser a b b c d e so what do you have to understand from these all that the main decision at every point is that we decide what is the next production to use this is how we can generate the pass tree top down pass tree now this is a mistake because b is being derived into b whereas here it is written that b must be derived into a small d that is the terminal that's why it is a printing mistake it will be changed in the future and for the upcoming videos we will be discussing the bottom up parser thank you for watching till then keep learning keep earning